Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Inside Out. I'm Keely Donovan. Tonight we investigate the so-called property training company which promises to make its customers a fortune. How many of you ready to want to become financially free? You ready to hand that yeah. But leaves some of them thousands out of pocket with nothing to show for it. We were misled, we were missold and he lied about his cause. Welcome to the programme. Danny Butcher from Doncaster got into debt after spending thousands of pounds on a property training course, which he was told would help make him a fortune. But his family was left devastated after he became overwhelmed and took his own life. The company called Property Investors said it would make him financially free, but he was actually left with more debt. In an exclusive investigation for Inside Out, Abby Jayola has spoken to Danny's family and also found out about dozens of other unhappy customers. I'm a 32-year-old widow. And my husband's gone. And my entire future's gone. That's it. Danny Butcher was 37 when he took his own life. His family say he saw suicide as his only option after taking out thousands of pounds worth of debt to pay for training to teach him how to invest in property. I felt like very much, and I would even go as far to say as kind of like a religious cult kind of thing, but done on a smaller, on a much smaller scale. You're taking people's money but you're not giving them the services you've promised would happen. If they hadn't have encouraged him, then maybe he'd still be here. You watch my videos and you're not subscribed? Jeez, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna punch you in the throat. Danny paid for training courses run by this man, 28-year-old Samuel Leeds and his firm, Property Investors. How many of you here because you want to become financially free? You ready to hand that? Oh, that's some great stuff. How many of you because you're actually ready to get a deal today? All right, awesome. Well, welcome to the Property Investors Crash Course. We've discovered dozens of people are currently trying to get refunds from property investors because they say they were misled about the training they'd receive. At last count, our group had. I think it was about 78 people, the group that I know of. I feel, genuinely feel like I've been robbed. Um, he hasn't delivered what he promised. Danny Butcher's widow, Charlotte, has visited his grave almost every day since he died in October. They'd only been married for 11 weeks when he took his life. I wake up in his mum and dad's spare room every morning, hoping that it's just a bad dream, but it's obviously, I can't wake up from, it doesn't feel, um, it's like disbelief that he is actually, I look at photos, there's photos of him everywhere, and I look at that face, and I just, I can't believe that he's, he's not coming back. Danny had spoken about his mental health in the past and his family say he had existing debt before he took on the loans and credit cards to pay property investors, but the extra debt became overwhelming. I'm going to share with you four ways that you can buy property without using any of your own money. So if you want to buy houses with no money, then stay tuned. When Danny signed up to their training academy, he was promised a lot. I work one on one with each person and we put together a custom, tailored, bespoke plan for that individual. So where are you now? Where do you want to be? And then we map out a journey of how to get there. And then for the 12 months, hold your hands, make it happen. A very attractive proposition to someone like Danny. He was an army reservist, soon to be married, looking for a way to secure his family's future. All he wanted was his, his own chance at 
making something of himself for me and for his son. You hear of people that have built businesses up from nothing and Danny not had the opportunity and he saw he saw this as his opportunity and he obviously taking out all the, the the loans was he put himself on the line but he he it was it was a bit like yeah it's scary but you know without risk there's no reward and he thought he genuinely thought that this was his chance and why did he think that because of how easy they made it all sound the guarantee, the, the, the what you will get is your first deal. Yeah. So we work with people to do their first deal. Over, uh, look over their properties, book viewings with them. Yeah. Classroom style, but then one-on-one -on -one support yeah. as, as well if, if, if needed to do your first deal. Property investors run free events called crash courses. Over two days, Samuel Leeds and his trainers show you how to find cheap houses to buy that can be rented out. But how did you last to make a man from Deal Sourcing. There's someone in the room who's making 30, 50 and more. A man from Deal Sourcing. Everyone give me a cha-ching. Glyn Jones is Danny Butcher's brother-in-law. He went with him to the crash course last March where Danny paid the first instalment of the £13,000 fee to join the Property Investors Training Academy. I think the whole crash course thing is pretty much a, I would say, brainwash thing to, to, to just sell as many of these courses as they can. What he's offering never appears. Uh, I don't see how it can. In a statement, property investors told us there is no obligation for people who attend the crash course to sign up to further paid for training. Danny did sign up, but he made it very clear he was borrowing money to pay the fees. Because he wanted somebody that would walk him through, just going through the whole process of the first few deals with him, just like he'd seen on these, these videos on YouTube. Um, it was that that made him think, I, I can't afford not to. He had a whole conversation about, he said, I've just had to get this bank loan for the first month's instalment. He said, I don't have the money for the next instalment. So he said to him, if I don't make any money, um, then he sort of joked, it was his sense of humour, he said, you'll not get your second and third instalment because I'll have to declare bankruptcy. You know, that was his joke. Um, and then he said to the lad, will I make enough? He says, I need to hit the ground running. Can I make, will I make enough money to cover the next instalment by the time it's due? And this lad's reaction was, yeah. Like it was a done deal. But Danny didn't find any deals or make any money or get the personalised mentoring he'd been sold. If I was living on my own, I'd probably be on the streets by now. You think you'd be on the streets? Oh, definitely. Um, I'd be surviving off the streets if I hadn't have had the support from friends and family members. Andrew White says he's been left in severe hardship after joining the Property Investors Academy. In here is £14,500 worth of uh, property training. This is what you get. A nice leather binder. <laughs> He's an army veteran who served in the Falklands and Afghanistan. He attended the crash course in March 2019. You're guaranteed to get your money back within your first property deal. Guaranteed. And they would walk you through and hold your hand until you completed that. No matter how long it took, they'd make sure you, you got your first, your first property deal through it. Andrew was about to receive a pension payout for his army service. He needed it to pay off his credit cards, but he says he was persuaded to use it to pay for these training courses instead. I said, I don't know if I've got the money to pay for it, and then I was like, okay, just, just open up your, ban your banking app, which I poorly chose to do at the time, and the money was there. So it's like, look, you've got the money, let's do this. Um, and sort of felt, 
that I had to do it at that point. I felt that there was no way, the only way out was to pay the money and just, just do it. But I was guaranteed to be financially free, so that money was inconsequential. That £12,000 was guaranteeing me to become financially free within a year. Andrew's pension was meant to help him resettle into civilian life. Without it, he's struggling to make ends meet. I ended up having to skip meals, um, skip either a tea or a thing, and I went back to my old military adage where you would have pot noodle sandwiches and, and stuff like that, and buy the cheapest tins and cheapest noodles you could find just, just, to, just to have food and to eat. Andrew says he hasn't made any money, secured any property deals, or had the mentoring he signed up for, so he intends to pursue the company through the small claims court for a refund. So how does it work, and was it really the hard sell suggested by Danny's family and Andrew? We decided to find out. I went along, rigged up with a secret camera to one of Property Investor's two-day crash courses. Day one runs from 9am to 11pm. How do you love it if we sold the deal that you found and gave you a commission split on the day? During the day, you're shown how to find houses for sale on property websites online and how to work out the rental income. The trainers say you can sell this information to investors for thousands of pounds, but it's information that's freely available online. They call this deal sourcing. They say to be really successful, you can pay for further training courses, but those courses cost thousands. When it comes to signing up, people are offered a huge discount and told it's a limited offer, so the pressure builds. It is not going to be 10,000. It's not even going to be 7,000. We will set up. Those people that stand up now and go to bed, it's not going to be 4,000. It's not going to be 5,000. It's not going to be 3,000. For the entire program, everything all together, it is only going to be one five nine five plus the AD stand up now and go to them. Stand up now and go to them. Those people want that. But we've been told by people who've paid for and attended these courses that you're not taught anything that you don't learn for free at the crash course or pick up from watching Samuel's YouTube videos. Later, and by later I mean around 10pm, we've now been here for 13 hours, Samuel Leeds himself takes to the stage to sell the Academy, the £12,000 course that Danny Butcher and Andrew White signed up for. It's a slightly different approach now, not quite as much shouting, and no one has to run to the back of the room. You fill in an application form for a selection interview. So I sign up. The reason I can say to people, go over to them, it's because I do it. The reason I can say to people, invest in yourself, it's because I do it. I'm spending, I spend millions, and I can share the importance. So I think. You've got to come from a position of authenticity and congruency in your message, otherwise, otherwise people won't give you money. Day two and time for my selection interview. I told the salesperson I was a housewife with no income, but within two minutes of sitting down, I'm asked how I'd like to pay. And in terms of payment, it's £10,000 plus a VAT. Right. Um, and we can get you signed up today. Right. So, how would you like to pay Visa or Mastercard? Oh, I don't know. That's that's the thing. I'm kind of struggling uh, to know how is best to do that. And what you know, do you have to do it all at once, or can you? I would recommend doing it all at once, just because if you do instalments, you'll basically pay extra because we have a reduced price if you pay it all today. Yeah. Um, that is what. Do you have that kind yeah, of? I haven't got that. In your bank no. Account? What is the most you could possibly put down today? I don't know. Um, I'll put the price on here. Yeah, can I have a look at the price? And despite saying I can't afford the fees, I'm again asked how I want to pay. Do you want to pay Visa or MasterCard? I think I'd have to go in them. Um, I'd probably have to go and get my limit increased, I think. Limit increase? Yeah. 
I could probably give them a ring to do that, I think. Yeah, if you want, I'll, I'll wait here. I'll put your details. If you put your name, surname, email, I can start doing processing that. And then you can call them for um, upping the uh, value on your card. I'm also told prices will increase if I don't pay now. The prices are going to go, go up. Go up. 100%. 100, because this isn't, it's not like we have another course from this that we upgrade you to, like we can be like, oh, then get you them onto this course, right. like this is everything. And the thing about this course, even though it's only like 10,000, it's worth like 50,000. Like, we can make like eight grand a month. How quickly could I make that kind of money? That's what I want if, to know. If you honestly, if you're like, and you're serious, like how serious on a scale of one to ten do you? I think I'm about a seven. A it's seven. just, it's just, the, it's just pay paying that money, it's just paying a lot for the training. For the finance. Um, yeah. Okay, what I would say is, I know it's scary, like, yeah. you know, like, it is scary because when you're, like, putting down a lot of money, but honestly, yeah. even though that might seem like a lot of money now, once you start deal sourcing, once you start doing stuff, like, you could get that from one deal. I said I needed to ring my husband before signing and left the room, but within seconds, I was approached by another property investor's employee who continued to give me the hard sell. Listen, listen, I mean... What, what you heard on stage is legitimate. And once you master this, there are people, Alice Nair, Samuel, people like that, if you, if you become like a, an expert deal source or a packager, they'll buy deals off you. They're, they're looking for deals all the time. They just have to be done to a high standard so there's no hassle. And I don't want this to sound wrong, but you can imagine how many people come to somebody like yeah. Samuel, like, oh, I've got this deal and then this yeah. is, and he's going like, leave me alone. Yeah. They, they want it but to be it's good. Oh. Uh, not just those guys, yeah. the whole community. Yeah. You post it into the... Alice did, there's like, um, and I've seen it, they do it in one of the trainings that you'll attend. He'll post a deal to his investor list. Uh, with, literally, within seconds, it's, I'll have it, I'll have it, right. I'll have it, I'll pay you that for it, I'll pay you that. It's, it's that quick. Property investors say debt should only be taken on if it's affordable, and they use interviews like the one I had to confirm applicants can afford their training. A consumer lawyer has told us the way I was sold to could be illegal. The problem is that if the information is false and that the price was not going to be increased in the near future, then that's a prohibited practice under the consumer protection regulations. And the, they're designed to ensure that if you're making a purchasing decision, you're given honest, open and accurate information and that you're not being pressurised to buy at that given point in time when you were at the uh, at the conference um, and that you're making an informed decision and making the right decision for you. If a company is suspected to have breached the consumer protection regulations by providing false information, they could face a criminal investigation. It's treated as a criminal offence under the regulations and generally it's um, prosecuted or, or, or examined or investigated by the Trading Standards Office. Um, but it can also mean that if you entered into a contract at that time by paying for the service, um, there's also a, a route whereby you can get out of that contract if you can prove certain things and that the information was misleading. The company have told us they're proud of their approach and their crash courses and that they are not pressure selling. Mr Samuel, please! Welcome to the Property Investors Crash Course. Samuel Leeds is the face of property investors. He runs the crash courses alongside former students and other training colleagues. You know, Samuel is obviously he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. He worth 16 million. Samuel claims he's living proof his strategies work. He posts daily videos on YouTube promoting his methods. He says he's made millions from property investing, buying his first house with the help of a relative aged just 17. At 19 years old, I bought six more houses and it just snowballed. By the age of 21, I had a million pound property portfolio. And um, within a few short years after that, became a, you know, a millionaire and now I'm wealthy and I help a lot of people. But this is Samuel working as an illusionist during the time he claims he was a millionaire. This was uploaded to YouTube in June 2014. Samuel was 23. 
In May of that year, Slightly Unusual, an entertainment company, introduced Samuel Leeds as a new act. He appears to have been working for them right through till summer of 2015. Here he is in some publicity photos. An interesting sideline for a millionaire property investor. So how much property does Samuel own? He talks about it online. This is a video he posted in March last year. He discusses 11 properties he and his companies own and the mortgages on some of them. Do you know what the, what the backstory is on all the houses and why I bought them so cheap? Would that be helpful? Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. All right, that's no problem. Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you... An... In December, he posted another video. He outlines five properties and a piece of land, along with some other deals. I mean, I've been involved in 29 property transactions or 29 property deals in 2019. I haven't necessarily bought them all myself. But then, in January this year, Samuel is back on YouTube, saying in 2019, he actually bought 29 houses. My brand was good, lots of people knew who I was, but I wasn't, I wasn't really on the property side buying anywhere near the kind of amount of properties I could have been doing. I mean, I bought, I, bought, I think it was 29 houses, but they're all small houses. All very confusing. We can't know for certain how many properties Samuel or his companies own, but to put it in context, to make a million pound profit a year, you would need to make 83,000 pounds a month after mortgage expenses. Samuel Leeds isn't shy about shouting about his wealth. He uses his success to convince people that his strategies can work for them. But is it realistic to suggest anyone can do it? I've come to meet a man who's been an expert in the industry for 47 years. There's nothing easy about property investing. There's nothing easy about life. You get out of it what you put into it. And there isn't a magic wand. There's no silver bullet that's going to make you make a lot of money out of investing in property overnight. This is a scheme, an investment, a gamble where you could lose the lot. And if you haven't got anything to start with, then where are you going to end up? You're going to end up bankrupt, uh, repossessed if you have property, or worse. We understand that there are dozens of people who signed up for property investors training who are now trying to get their money back. This isn't the, the whole group, it's over 78 people in our group. It's a combination. Diane Granville is helping this group fight for refunds. She says between them they paid more than £200,000. She got her money back in 2018. I'm lucky. I realised what was happening to me and I dealt with it. We were misled, we were missold, and he lied about his course because it's not anything different from his crash course. The company say feedback they receive about their courses is overwhelmingly positive. According to property investors, Academy members have access to weekly video calls and monthly webinars with specialist property coaches. They say customers are offered a 14-day cooling off period during which they're entitled to a refund. They say outside of that, cases for refunds are considered on a case-by-case -case basis. Danny Butcher asked for a refund, but property investors say it was outside of the cooling off period. He was later offered a partial refund, but his wife says he was persuaded to stay in the academy. Two months later, in September last year, he asked for a refund again. In a statement, the company told us that their customer services told Danny two days before his death that a partial refund had been sent for approval. But in an online video, Samuel Leeds gives a slightly different version of events. All was good. We were talking with Danny and all was good. And that was on the Thursday. Russell was, Russell was at an event. On the Saturday, before we even had time to respond, before Russell had time to respond on the Saturday, um, Danny took his life. I think that he felt he'd let everyone down. That he'd... That he'd messed everything up and that there was no way out of it. He said I should have, I should have gone with my gut instinct, which was to not sign up um, at the academy. He held out for nearly two days, but then he signed up right at the end because of those last little bits of 
them saying about the exclusive mentorship and you know the the one-to-one -one training which is the one thing that he really needed shortly after danny's death samuel leeds posted on facebook to say i am deeply saddened to hear that danny butcher took his own life on saturday i am heartbroken that this has happened my thoughts and prayers are with his family three months on and danny's family are grieving together do you think he was misled, missold, made promises to by Samuel Leeds and the company? Utterly. He, when he first started getting involved, he came in and he says, oh, I don't have to use my money. And I said, well, that's good, because we ain't got none. And he said, uh, no, uh, with this system, he said, you use other people's money. So I said, well, what other people? He said, investors. And I hadn't, I hadn't got any knowledge of it, so I couldn't say to him, well, I don't think that's right. I'd ask, like, you sure? And he's saying, yeah, because he's totally believed what he was told there. The company say they're proud to be their largest property investment training business in the UK and to have the opportunity to help thousands of people towards financial freedom. They say they think debate about standards and regulation in the industry is a good thing. There is currently no regulation of the property training sector. Anyone can set themselves up as a trainer. No one checks if they are what they say they are or if they deliver the training they promise. Danny Butcher's family say that needs to change. We want businesses like Samuel's regulated so that they can't just go in and make these outrageous claims that you can do this and that without actually giving you the full, the full story on what it will take. I think there should maybe be a, a body that's in charge of it so that people can go to an ombudsman if they do have problems with uh, any kind of company that's offering courses and stuff like that. I just want them to be regulated. I don't want to associate with them at all. Um, and I don't want other people to either. Danny's family say more needs to be done to stop the vulnerable being exploited. The only thing I can do for Danny is to try and make people aware so they don't end up wasting their money, putting themselves in a bad place. Like I say, I can't do nothing else for him but that. And if it does that, what's a meaningless loss, a waste of life to me, won't be quite so meaningless. But if one person knowing Danny's story just didn't do what he did, then obviously that's a life saved, isn't it? Which is more than we can say for Dan. If you've got any thoughts on tonight's programme or you have a story you'd like to tell us about, you can contact us on Facebook or Twitter. The details are below. But that's all we've got time for this week. We're back next Monday at the same time. When we investigate the auto injectors to treat allergic reactions which don't always work and meet the army reservists heading to Afghanistan.